Hi, my name is Joey. I'm with Perfect Gardens and today I just wanted to make a quick video and give you guys a little more insight on seedlings and specifically what happens in the early stages of your seedlings life with the leaves. And so let's get started and explain what's going on and what you need to be looking for. Alright, so today I'm going to talk about seedlings and what's going on when they're sprouting. On this left side I have a much smaller seedling and on the right side I have a much bigger seedling. These actually were both put in here on the same day but of course some are going to be stronger than others and some will develop faster than others. So my point of showing the two contrasts though is to let you see what's going on with the leaf specifically with this smaller one because it's not as developed. So what happens when the seeds start to sprout is you get two sets of leaves in the beginning. These, these leaves here, this leaf here, and this leaf here were the two sets of leaves on this plant. This, these sets of leaves are known as the cotyledon. They are not considered true sets of leaves. If you can see this new growth that's happening over here and right here, these two leaves that are just being formed are a completely different shape. And that's because these are considered the true leaves. You can see the actual characteristics of the plant you're growing at that point because you can tell what kind of a plant it is by the leaves a lot of the time. So the first two sets of leaves are the cotyledon and they are not the true sets of leaves. So one way to measure how well you're doing with your seedlings and how well they're being developed is of course, you know, are they green and things like that, but look for the, the development of the leaves. If you've gotten to the point where you have the cotyledon showing, you're not done yet. You want to make sure you get a true set of leaves starting to form and make sure that starts growing out. And that's how you're going to know, is it time to transplant or should I take this plant, throw it away, is it not growing, all those sorts of things. So now going over here to the much more developed side, you can see these are two, you know, an abundance really of, of true sets of leaves. And right below these sets of leaves on this and this side, you can see the cotyledon, which was the beginning. And now we have true sets of leaves. So this is ready to transplant. You look at this, that guy is ready to transplant because the true sets of leaves have come, they're developed, they're big, and it's ready to go into a little bit bigger container or wherever you want to put it. This one over here on the left still needs some time to develop within the cubes and then it can be transplanted. And of course, if you look at the difference in their root systems, which is always a good indicator, this still has a ways to go. If we look at this guy's roots, it's ready to go. It's ready to be transplanted out of this container into a, maybe a four inch pot. So that is what's going on when your, fa your plants first start to sprout, your seedlings first start to sprout, cotyledon leaves, then you get your true sets of leaves. When you have enough true sets of leaves or it looks very well, you got, you know, they're well established, they're ready to transplant. Of course, also check the root system, but that's usually what's going on. The root system is well developed and those true sets of leaves are on their way and this plant's ready to blow up. So I hope that video helped you a little bit. Maybe now when you're starting your seedlings, you have a more of an idea of what you're looking for or what you need to do. One thing we say here is if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. So having ways to measure the progress of your plants is going to allow you to manage your plants in a better, more efficient way. If you have any questions, as always, leave us a comment down below. If you want to talk to us on the phone, give us a call at 855-GROW-GOOD. And of course, visit our website at perfectgardens.com. Have a great grow.